reason that we bought the small hold it was quite simple because in my working life as well as working in the craft I worked had my own business with black acne cabs I also had a mobile shop in Kirby and worked very long hours so at the end of my working life we'd accumulated some money and I thought the best investment for the grandchildren would be to buy property which keep up with inflation because at the moment there's no interest on money in the banks. The money we'd have saved and accumulated would have just gone to nothing. It's a quiet life in the small holding. We're away from the maddening crowd. And it's a bit of a holiday home. And it's a holiday home. And with the benefits of the grandkids getting their money when we pass on. I was a process worker. I worked in craft foods. Then it went to St. Ivel. Worked on mach big machine, putting tubs of margarine in them, packing it the other end, then packing it in the box. I retired in 2010, and uh, the changes in the last 45 years were tremendous. And I was glad to go because the technology was changing weekly and I was a bit of a dinosaur. I knew my time was up and I wanted to go. I took early retirement. A redundancy come up so I took that. The job was getting too much for me. It had changed that much so I had to go then, you know. Oh, I was glad, yeah. I haven't looked back since I left there. Only film number one, one and four, 14. Four and eight, forty-eight. I was a copy typist. I was a dental nurse. I was making cake shops. Cake oh, you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I was 65 when I retired. And quite honestly, I was ready for it. I looked forward to it. And um, I've enjoyed it so far. Until all my aches and pains started. <laughs> I worked when I was 67. A bit reluctant at first. The only reason I retired, my daughter-in-law had a baby and needed help, so I, I did then. But as time has gone on, yeah, I've enjoyed it, you know. My time's taken up with great grandchildren in and out. And then I go out with the family, you know, take the wheelchairs, go around the shops. But, um, I do get a bit fed up, I'll be honest. I do get fed up. And then when you sit there, your imagination starts. I've got myself get buried and all that kind of thing, you know. Uh, you get fed up with your own company sometimes, that's your day for that. But there again, let's take the good with the bad. We've worked on the property for three years and done it as we've got the money. When we bought the property, we bought it off an elderly couple and I think it was too much for them and they tend to let the place go down a little bit. We haven't got it right yet because there's still a lot of work to be done on the property and um, if you don't keep on top of a property like this, it will soon go down and you need to have workers here and um, it just depends on who takes over the property when we snuff it. I have a polytunnel so I, I'm in there quite a lot and I like the gardens, the gardens are nice and, that. and it's very very quiet so you get away from all the maddening crowd. I still get up at five o'clock in the morning so when we got this place, it's about a 45 minute run from Liverpool. As well as being an investment, as I've just explained, I just mess around with the, the animals we've got, clean them out and uh, basically just play around. And it's a, a change from being a robot in a factory. I'm not watching the clock and no one's telling me what to do. It's just come a bit too late for me because I would have liked this when I was in my 20s, but when you're in your 20s, you don't have the money then, to, you've got a young family. and It's only when you get older and if you've been steady in your life that you get a few bob, but basically it's an escape for me now and I enjoy it. The best aspect of retirement, um, not having to get up early to work to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's I like that now. And if you don't, if you don't feel like doing it, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. That's another thing. Yeah. You're more relaxed. As Jean said, if you don't want to do it, you don't need to do it. But 
that's not in you. What's in you is get it done, then get out, you know. We're not ones for putting things on hold, are we? We just do it, you know. Um, I mean, I've got four sons who only one lives in Liverpool. And again, um, if I visit them or they visit me, you know, um, and that's something else, just something to look forward to, you know. But um, then I should say the main thing is being your own boss, doing what you want when you want it. Money is not important to me because it's only money. But uh, no, I, I've got no regrets about uh, getting this property. And uh, yes, my family are very important to me. And that's what I, I've basically done all this for my family when we've gone. Because I realise how hard it is for young people getting a job. And if you get a mortgage around your neck when you're young, you can't really live properly. So I'm trying to set them up now for in the future. So that's what all I'm looking forward to. Or when I kick the bucket, that's what I hope they do and make life easy for them. Uh, they say when you're retired, you become stereotyped into gardening or clubs and playing bingo. Me personally, I don't go to no old people's clubs and I don't mind gardening, but when we were young, we used to go to nightclubs and, um, well, we grew up in the swinging 60s, so that's what it tells you, that was the time and the place to be. I've done all that, wore the t-shirt, so I'm quite happy to just plod along now and, and just enjoy life. I don't need a lot to make me happy, I don't need a fast car, I don't need holidays in, on the moon, I'm quite happy just to be where I am now. And as far as retirement goes, I'd recommend retirement to anyone, providing you've got your health, which we have at the moment. And um, yeah, retirement's great for me because I can do what I like here. Enjoy it. Spend your money and enjoy, enjoy it. it and enjoy it. what money you've got to spend it and enjoy it. Have Keep busy. Holidays. Enjoy, yeah. And if you've got loads of money, give your family some of it now while they can use it and see good with it. happy with what we want to do now yeah in fact this is probably the best time of my life 